pleasures <laughs> so um we were supposed to go to another restaurant first but they were not open and alice did not like how it looked on the outside but i think he approves of this place on the outside yes it gets a dallas silver approval <laughs> that one just looks so but yeah um he has not been to this restaurant i've been to this restaurant three times but only for um one time the bar, two times for takeout. And I never actually sat inside. My first time sitting inside, I did not expect it to be dark like this, but it's okay. We're still gonna record, you know, we don't let things get in the way. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. We gonna do this and we're gonna let y'all know how to taste. And um I was surprised because when I was going over the menu with the lady. Their seafood, okay, yeah, the seafood is popular, like the seafood that we eat items, but she said the steak is one of their biggest ones, so I did order that, so I'm gonna try to know how that tastes, but we gonna let y'all know how that tastes. Mm -hmm. Excited. Oh yeah, so, also, they do reservations here, but we didn't have any, but they let us in um, immediately, so I didn't have to wait, so that was a good thing. <laughs> Not too packed, but we did come early so that it would be packed, but everything's organized, everything looks neat. You know, the only thing I don't like is the good money, just for the fact that it's good. You know, most people that are here are here in groups, so if you want to go as a family or a group of friends, that was a good thing to do staff is very funny. I'll let you know what else I think that was Dallas. My, my very real critique. <laughs> <laughs> Look how rich that looks. That looks awesome. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Ooh, look at your crab. Oh my god. You know, I never even told the people, like, well, tell the people what you do. Cause they know you eat with people. Like, what do you do? Tell the people about you, so my people know you. Well, I am a very artistic person. I do many different things. I do photography mainly. I write. I paint, and I make homemade do well handmade dolls as well as draw. So I'm an artist through and through. 
done by love and for passion. And it's something that I've worked on and developed my skill through the years. And it's been very rewarding. And it's a great outlet to relieve stress. So that's what I do. <laughs> Goals like Dallas, all right? That's how we got to start off our year, you know? Have you tried anything? Yeah, Dallas approves that y'all believe because me, I'm not like a picky eater, so y'all may not believe me, you know, but he approves that it's good. Yeah, trust me, I am very, I'm a critic in general. <laughs> Like people would hate me because I get my own honest opinion. If it looks ghetto, I'm gonna say it looks ghetto. If it looks ratchet, I'm gonna go ratchet. If it don't taste good, I'm gonna say don't fucking eat it. <laughs> and if it looks ugly, then it's ugly. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Try with the sauce too. Okay. I do like that it's bonus though. Mm -hmm. Bacon bits into his along with like some peppers to get like a bit of a spice. And then my mother, she makes it kind of, um, she makes it like this. It's good. She makes it like this, but hers have more of a cheesy, cheesy kick to it. Like, the way I be making my mac and cheese, Recipe from my brother, so you want to put um, your cheeses, you'll put um, American cheese, like the square ones that's on top, and then you'll put shredded cheese on top, and then you'll spray breadcrumbs on top, and then um, I forgot the one more ingredient you'll put there, but yeah, and then bacon, and then it'll be coming out. Pretty bomb. Mm -hmm. I think I mentioned this in my last vlog, but 
idea, you know, playing with the lemon and like, strawberry or whatever for like embellishment, but I do squeeze my stuff in because I actually want to taste it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how many try fries. Garlic gave us a little bit more kick. Um, and this is a new experience for me. I've never had stuff thick before, so that is what kind of like pumped it up to a three for me. Fries, I have our fries. They did come with the sauce, which, which again, you know, did enhance the flavor of it and gave it a bit of a you know, more kick to it. But other than that, I mean, it's a good experience. I'm not gonna knock it. Uh, if you want to come in and try the food and you know, for yourself, uh, I would recommend you do that because I feel like, you know, the only way that you can kind of develop your own opinion of things is to go to a place and give it just, you know, your own, give it a try and see it for yourself. So I might say it's a three, someone else might say it's a five, other person might say it's a four. But for me, it's a three, nice restaurant, good food. So, not the best, not the most expensive, or probably expensive, but <laughs> overall, I think. You heard it from the words of him, so, <laughs> yeah, we both full. We only gonna do run restaurant today, so we gonna pack our leftovers and go home and take a nap and <laughs> call it a day for the new year. So, I'm gonna keep up with y'all another time and yeah, enjoy the rest of your New Year's and we definitely go to the Happy New Year everyone, 2020. I hope you all go ahead and have a fantastic New Year's, go to this New Year's strong and unapologetic, number one. And also, don't stress out about what you can't do, focus on what you can do. For me, I always say focus on my three G's, which are three goals of the day. And if you just have three goals that are doable, then you'll never be disappointed. 
Period. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Bye.